Searching for the best CPU cooler for the Intel Core i9-14900K? The 14900K is still one of the best high-end CPUs out there. While newer chips have succeeded in terms of performance, it still remains a powerhouse in productivity and gaming thanks to its high core count and boost clocks. However, Intel's 14th generation chips can be notoriously difficult to cool, so you need something that can properly handle the 14900K's power. In this video, I picked the three best coolers to pair with the i9-14900K, starting with a mid-range option, one for those looking for the absolute best cooling performance and money is not a worry, and finally, a cooler that offers the best value with the i9-14900K. Current prices and all coolers mentioned in the video are available in the description. Let's start with the mid-range option, EKWBEK Nucleus CR360 Lux DRGB. EKWB is better known for its custom cooling PC parts like CPU blocks, pumps, reservoirs, and even tubing. A full custom water cooling configuration isn't practical for everyone though, so they've been creating some great AIOs for the mainstream market as an alternative. Their EK Nucleus CR360 is a fantastic value and has all the hallmarks of a high-end cooler at a reasonable price. The Nucleus line is the successor to EK's original AIO Elite series. That original series had thicker radiators, difficult mounting, and noisier fans. The Nucleus CR360 fixes all of these issues and adds some extra features like the rotatable pump and daisy chain cables, which we'll be more on later. Cooling performance and noise levels on the new line are also noticeably better. Like most premium coolers, this one uses a 360mm radiator with three 120mm fans. It features braided tubing that connects with a raised cover for the actual pump. The pump itself has RGB lighting with a dark center, creating a ring or tunnel-like effect. You also get swivel fittings, meaning the pump is rotatable. This new pump is incredibly powerful as it can reach speeds of up to 3100 RPM. Of course, you need to run a custom fan curve to avoid running at those speeds, as it can get slightly noisy if you push it to the max. For the fans, you get three 120mm FPT fans with plenty of ARGB lighting. All the wires for the fans connect to one daisy-chained cable, meaning there's less clutter. So far, EK has nailed it in terms of looks and ease of installation. It supports AMD's AM4 and AM5 sockets, and Intel's LGA 115X, 1200, 1700, 2011, and 2066 sockets, and installing it on the newer platforms like Intel's 14th generation is relatively easy. Let's jump into the performance now. When testing with high-end CPUs like the 14900K, the CR360 maintains a temperature of 88 degrees Celsius at a whopping 300 watts. During gaming, you won't be pulling that many watts from the wall, so realistically expect temperatures in the 70s degrees Celsius. However, at higher RPMs with full load, the pump runs a bit noisily by default. Thankfully, you can quickly change the fan curve to fix this. The good thing here is that this affordable cooler can adequately handle a power-hungry CPU like the i9-14900K, which is not something a lot of coolers at this price range are capable of. If your workload doesn't require you to pull upwards of 300 watts from the wall, you're going to notice good noise levels as well. The main competitor to this cooler is the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360. EK's cooler has better performance, a better pump, yet a slightly higher price. However, that higher price is well worth it if you want impressive performance without breaking the bank. That's mainly why the Nucleus CR360 is my recommendation in this price range. The only downside of this cooler is the high noise levels at max RPM, but this is easily fixable by tuning the fan curve. I recommend this one if you're looking for high-end looks, performance, and ease of installation at a mid-range price. To sum up, what I like is the fantastic performance for the price, the daisy chaining feature, and the rotatable pump. On the downside, it gets a bit loud at max speeds, and the pump runs at very high speeds by default. Next, if you need the absolute best cooling performance, I recommend the Kraken Elite 360 RGB 2024 version. NZXT's Kraken line is quite mature at this point, and the design has reached an almost iconic status. 
While that is primarily what their coolers were popular for at the start, they now also offer chart-topping performance, low noise levels, and plenty of room for customization. The Kraken Elite 360 RGB is an expensive cooler, but well worth it for high-end rigs. This one is sort of a second version of the original Kraken Elite. The 2024 version features a bigger pump, thicker tubes for more coolant flow, and a brand new fan system. It's quieter, delivers better performance, and even has a brighter IPS display. An interesting thing about this cooler is that it comes with a 3-in-1 fan shroud. This is a massive platform that houses all three 120mm fans on one plastic slab. NZXT calls this the F360 RGB core. It mounts directly to the radiator with just four screws, simplifying the installation. Another benefit is that you only have to deal with one cable to plug the fan system in. The downside, if one fan fails, you need to replace the entire block. As for the pump, it features a large copper contact plate and comes with pre-installed thermal paste. This pump is connected to the radiator with thick rotatable tubing. Interestingly, the tubing here is thicker than most AIOs, allowing for more coolant and higher flow rates. This extra bump in performance will help for higher-end CPUs. The pump also features a 2.72-inch IPS LCD with a crisp resolution and plenty of brightness. By default, it displays your CPU, liquid, and GPU temperatures. While that's certainly handy, you can use NZXT's CAM software to display anything you want on the display. This includes GIFs, random artwork, and even YouTube videos. Finally, let's take a quick look at the numbers. The pump has a maximum speed of 2800 RPM, and the fans top out at 2400 RPM. Because of the higher flow rate, NZXT doesn't need RPMs as high as 3000, which is also what makes their cooler quiet at full load. Speaking of performance, at full load with a CPU like the 14900K, the Kraken Elite maintains temperatures under 86 degrees Celsius while the CPU is pulling 300 watts from the wall. Noise levels at this stage of performance are around 46 decibels. At default settings, the fans and pump run at lower speeds, giving us noise levels of 40 decibels. Quite impressive overall. A strong competitor to this cooler is the Lian Li HydroShift 360TL. Both offer similar levels of performance, though the HydroShift can be a bit more expensive than the Kraken. You get a great set of fans on both, bright IPS displays and rotatable tubing. The slight edge here goes to the Kraken though, as it runs quieter than the Lian Li cooler. In short, such an expensive cooler won't be for everyone. There's also the added concern that if one fan fails, you need to replace the whole system. Other than that though, you get a vibrant pump display, chart-topping performance, and impressively low noise levels. A great choice for high-end builds overall. To sum up, what I like is the stunning IPS display, the plenty of customization, the incredibly strong performance, and the low noise levels. On the downside, the fan system is expensive to replace, and high price tag. Finally, my top choice for the best CPU cooler for the 4900K is the Asus ProArt LC360. The ProArt LC360 is a bit of an unorthodox choice, mainly because it ditches all the trends we see currently in most high-end coolers. It doesn't have a pump display, RGB lighting, or a VRM fan. Instead, it goes all in on performance, with top-of-the-line parts and numbers that put many coolers to shame. This is the first ProArt cooler from Asus, apart from the 420 radiator version, so it has no direct predecessor. However, we can compare it to the Prime LC360, a more mainstream option. The ProArt version has a thicker radiator, better performing fans, and lower noise levels. That all is to be expected since the ProArt line is pricier, but you also need to remember these coolers cater to different use cases, we'll get to that soon. Design-wise, the LC360 is a very sleek-looking cooler. It has an industrial all-metal look to it. The pump has a square top cover with an illuminated zone that indicates system load. It serves as a meter, and when the meter is all lit up, that means you're pushing your CPU and the AIO to their maximum performance. This pump cover has an all-metal design, meaning it's pretty heavy, and it has to be, as it houses a powerful three-phase motor that tops out at 3100 RPM. The tubing is braided and quite thick, allowing for a high flow rate. Unfortunately, there's no rotatable tubing, which is a bit of a downside at this price. Things look up again, though, if we talk about the fans. 
Asus is using AlphaCool's Apex Stealth metal power fans that are incredibly powerful and quiet. These are the best radiator fans on the market, even better than the Noctua fans seen on the 420 radiator version of this same cooler. They run at a maximum speed of 3000 RPM. Of course, it's hard to ignore the main talking point here. This is a cooler with a very minimalist design, and it's catering to people who are anti-RGB. Not everyone will be a fan of this look, but you can't deny its sleek design because of its all matte black appearance and industrial design. Performance-wise, this thing is quite impressive because of the powerful pump and fans. It can handle power-hungry chips like the Intel Core i9-14900K at full load. Even above 300 watts, the temperatures never exceed a maximum of 90 degrees Celsius. Of course, that's barely realistic for most use cases. So in the range of 250 to 275 watts, expect temperatures in the 70 to 80 degree range. It delivers this high-end performance with surprisingly low noise levels. Even at full load, it never gets louder than 46 decibels. Not bad at all for such an unassuming looking cooler. Competition-wise, it's hard to judge this one. The Corsair H150i Elite LCD XT comes to mind, as it's a cooler loaded with features, ARGB fans, an IPS display on the pump, and an overall stunning design. However, it is more expensive and doesn't deliver the performance or low noise levels of the ProArt LC360. To sum it up, this cooler is for those who are looking for low noise levels and the best possible performance. It lacks bells and whistles like RGB lighting, a pump display, and rotatable tubing, but it delivers on low temperatures and noise levels. For performance enthusiasts, this level of capability is hard to ignore at this price. To sum up, what I like is the unparalleled performance, the best radiator fans in the game, it's easy to install, and the minimalist industrial design. On the downside, it's lacking extra features. Thanks for staying till the end. Remember, you can check current prices in the description below.